prayer. Number two, you are, you are a son. Sonship. Sonship. As many that believe in God, today gave you power to become the sons of God. Do you know how to be a son? The son is one who exercises authority. A child does not exercise all authority. You cannot enter a house when a man is not around. The little boy will not know how to defend his father's property. He will not even know what is happening. Somebody can come and take all they have. But a, child, a son will say, this is my right. This is my father's thing. Please, you don't have rights over them. This is the sonship. So, you are given the grace to exercise the authority of the son. I said number three, power. Power. Those who are led by the spirit of God, they have what? They, are, they have power. Those who are in Christ Jesus, they are given the power of authority. When you say, I bind you demon, you bind and you cast them away. Amen? Hallelujah. So we have our soul rest. You have soul. Your soul will be at rest. It will not be wandering up and down. Everybody is panicking. You will not follow them to panic. Why? Because you have a rest in your soul. Hebrew 4 verse 3. Spiritual inheritance. What are the spiritual inheritance? I've taught you so many times. James chapter 2 verse 5. Your spiritual inheritance at least you are having the inheritance of prosperity, divine health, joy, peace in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Eternal life is your inheritance of the spiritual principle. Know the things of God. When you are speaking, you speak the word of God. When you speak, people should know this is a Christian talking. It's not that you are standing with other people. Like now, all the things I'm talking about. If I call somebody, can you talk to me about your rights in Christ? Can, I, can you talk to me about your spiritual inheritance? They will be looking at me eye to eye. Please, let the word of God be inside of you. The Christians, we have our language. Say we have our language. You are not in native doctor house. You are in the house of the Father. Let this dwell in you richly in Jesus' name. So another one I said to you is your spiritual foundation. Hallelujah. First Peter chapter 2 verse 6. We are redeemed not with corruptible things but by the incorruptible. What is the meaning of that? God, Jesus is incorruptible. Human beings can die but God does not die. He is the one who came to save you. Praise the Lord. Spiritual assurance. There is this assurance that God is real. Jesus is real. And our salvation is secured in Christ Jesus. As you believe in all of this, may the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Your scripture for that is 1 John chapter 5, verse 14. Amen and amen. 